I wouldn't say it's a mistake as such, but it's not really. <laughs> it's more of the you, massive mistake. You haven't got aircon. Yeah, massive mistake. You're painting. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Dave, that's probably the best thing you can take away from this podcast. Sort your life out. My family question my sexuality on <laughs> most days, so you know, it is what it is. Come at me. Yeah. If, oh, yeah. Hang on. What? <laughs> at did you say? <laughs> Completely bananaed, never really mm. kind of got its shape, so it got demoted to like a basic. Good for painting round corners, though. Hey! <laughs> Even in this heat, you can still make up terrible jokes. <laughs> That's like a ceremony I have. The brush is dead. It no, no longer has a use to me. Yeah. Goodbye, old friend. Snap. <laughs> Bin. You know, I've watched like 15 videos on glazing. It's like, just pick the brush up and start glazing. Yeah, just have a go. And mm. I think this is something that nearly every hobbyist does make a mistake in. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Sprue Goons podcast with me, Dickie, and the new hobby hono. Oh, I, mucked it up. <laughs> I thought of one as well and I mucked it up. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Sprue Goons podcast with me, Dickie, and the new hobby homeowner, Darren. Yeah. Got it right that time. Man, there we go. This time. Yeah. That it. wasn't definitely wasn't the second take. Did it, <laughs> did it first time. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. Good, let's get this done quick. It's too hot to <laughs> It's very, very hot. We're having a bit of a, well, I'll say a yeah. heat wave, but the temperature's definitely gone up in the UK over yeah. the past week, hasn't it? So it's like, ugh, don't like it now. I don't like the heat. I realise why I'm a nerd. and like sit in a dark room painting models all day. So. Up above 20 and everyone sort of panics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Panic. Everyone gets their tops off and gets down the beach. Oh, wow. It's like 23 degrees. Like, come on. <laughs> it's warm, but it's not that warm, is it? <laughs> anyway, so I went off on one a bit um, yeah, well, I've, um, as you've just yeah, given it away, alluded to, yeah, I've, um, yeah, got the keys to my house, so yeah, yeah lots of bits to sort out, but yeah. um, yeah, we've we've actually just been round. Yeah, so look, I've scoped it out. It's a bit of a shit hole. Really, yeah, but, you know, it'll do. Get some, you know, get some, get some hobby stuff <laughs> get, in there. Get some models in there yeah. and make it look smart. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. Um, so yeah, so hobby nonsense this week isn't going to be a very long one because obviously Darren's just. Yeah. Well, I've just. Well, you've away. done a lot of hobby. Yeah, but for you really, it's not mm. really been. It's all living about. Pickings. Oh, I had to sort out my house. Oh, I had to see the <laughs> mortgage advisor. Oh, God. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, me, I've actually been, you know, keeping the yeah, keeping been working, keeping the ship afloat. You know, mm. no, I've just been cracking on with uh, Shatterpoint mainly. So how many I've done? I can't remember what I've done now. Kenobi Squad, Anakin Squad. Today I just finished Mace Windu yep. and his squad. And I've built my next squad, which is Luminara and Dula and her squad. Yeah. Um, but I am sick to the back teeth of clones. <laughs> every every Jedi faction in Shatterpoint, but that I can think of, come with at least one clone. Yeah. In yeah, in the in the clone era, yeah. Yeah, in the clone era, yeah. sorry, yeah, obviously like Luke Skywalker doesn't, but I'm yeah, talking yeah. the Clone Wars Clone yeah. Wars factions, they come with clones, obviously. <laughs> what? It, yeah, I know, crazy. <laughs> but I'm getting a bit like, oh, I'm getting a bit, I yeah. love painting the Jedis and I get to the, get to the uh, clones and it's a bit like, okay. A bit cleaned out. Yeah, a bit cleaned out. So I've decided once Luminara's squad is done, she's got two clone commandos though, which are quite cool. They are cool. They're a bit more, bit beefy. Yeah, they look cool. So, mm. but once they're done, I'm probably going to, not have a break from Shatterpoint, but I'm probably going to swerve into the Sith and do maybe Ventress, yeah. do uh, Maul. Maybe get Dooku, mm. you know that. More sabers. Yeah, yeah. A bit more, more sabers, but the red version. Mm. Um, What's, um? Oh yeah, Dooku's got Magna Guard, hasn't he? Yes, Magna Guard and Django Fett. Oh, yeah. So I have to rebuy him. <laughs> um, Yeah, I don't think, really, it's all been Shatterpoint for me. I'm trying to think. I think I've been, I've been a bit lazy. Like, well, you've done, yeah, you've done a lot of, I think you've just done the scenery, maybe. Oh, that was it. Yeah, so I've done, I've done the three squads, plus I've done all the core set scenery, yeah. painted that. Nothing amazing, but it's, I've done quite a, quite a good job, I think. A lot of airbrush work and a yeah. lot of... But it's it's good. It's serviceable. It looks good, yeah. Yeah, we got a neoprene mat, didn't we, from UK Games Expo? Yes, yeah. So the neoprene mat, fully painted scenery. Well, I've nearly got four squads worth of models painted, so it's, you know, we're getting there now. Yeah. But um, and Luminara for you was a, oh yeah was a purchase yeah I just I don't I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about the whole game and she's she's okay but she's more of a support piece yeah she's a Jedi but she's more of a support Jedi she does healing she does a lot of um she can let you look at the order deck when you pull a car you know things like that she's a bit more of a support Jedi than a full out you know yeah. Anakin Mace Windu go yeah. around kicking the shit well, out you've of had a bit of a 
bit of a wobble on Anakin. Yeah, I, in game terms. He's, we've had mm. two games of Shadowpoint now, haven't we? Me, you, obviously, and my brother John. We did like, you you and him had a squad each and I had two squads. Yeah. Yeah, he's all right. He's just a beat stick, but he kind of doesn't have all the abilities of Mace Windu, I don't think. So yeah. obviously Mace Windu hits hard, but he can also re-roll dice if he uses force points. He can, when he gets the shatter, when you get the shatter point card, he has an ability that lets him I can't remember. I've never actually played him, but it basically does something really makes him. Yeah, powerful. it gives him impact too. So That's it, and lets him. Yeah, does something else as well. Yeah, and then if you, it's kind of like if he if you pull the shatter point and he's on his aggressive stance, you know you get um yeah you get buffs on on attacking, and if you pull him on defensive, then you get buffs on defense. You can heal and stuff yeah, like that. that. So yeah, he's he's really good. He's really good, but thematically it makes sense because he's a Jedi master. Yeah, but yeah, it's just a bit like. I just felt like I was playing a gimped version of Mace Windu. Like he, he hits hard and he can hit twice, which yeah. is really good in Shatter Points. Like, wow. Because I I knocked out uh, Mace Windu in one go, didn't I, with Anakin? Hit him twice, knocked him out. But then Mace Windu on his turn got back up and knocked out Anakin. So it was a bit yeah. like... And the thing is, I think I said to you, kind of after we had that game, I'd, had a, I'd looked up a, a little bit about it and it was like, Anakin hits really hard in a game that's not about hitting hard. Yeah. <laughs> so it's about objectives. Yeah. He's, so he's scary and he can do some real damage, but yeah, he doesn't really have much flexibility, I think, or versatility yeah. compared to a lot of the other people again. And welcome to the Shatterpoint podcast. <laughs> um, this week. Yeah. So yeah, no, I'm just all in on Shatterpoint at the moment. Although I think I did say to Darren earlier today that I'm feeling a bit of a hobby burnout on, on the oh. horizon because it's a bit like for the past, what, getting on for month and a half month now over a month yeah. now it's been solid shatter since point. the expo so i think well a couple of weeks before yeah yeah, so, yeah just over a month yeah just over a month of constant everyday shatter point related hobbying so it's a bit like i can feel the you know mm. it's starting to sort of weigh on me now yeah. first world problems <laughs> you were saying as well about um the fact that you've got you've kind of got that niggling School holidays, yes, in the yeah. back of your head, yeah. Uh, obviously, a few weeks away in the UK, it's the six week school holidays for kids, obviously. And my my kids are off, so obviously, I'm off during the day, yeah. I'm at home with them, so I can't really. It's like six weeks off where I don't really do much hobby, which is fine, you know. Yeah, it's a nice holiday. break, yeah, but it's a long break, it's a long break. So, I'm, I'm again, it's I'm almost feel like I'm against the clock, you know. I want to get Luminara mm. if I can get Luminara painted. For the summer holidays. Yeah, I think you'll do that. I think I've done yeah. like three weeks to paint yeah, yeah. four models. I think I can do it. He says famous <laughs> last words. Um, but if I can get her painted, then it'll be four squads, which is like enough for two people to have two fully yes. painted yeah. armies. Yeah, you painted a, a game, of essentially a core set, not the core models. No. But a, a set of yeah. Shadow, yeah. point. Obviously limits who you can be. You can be Jedi versus Jedi. You don't get much choice, but yeah. obviously and I can then over the summer holiday, I can pick away at Ventress's squad, for instance, even if that takes me six weeks, mm. it doesn't matter because I can just, oh, I've got an hour spare, oh, I've got two hours, I've got an evening, you know, I'll do a bit I here. I feel a bit. like that one will be slightly easier because you've got a lot of droids. Yeah, lots of, yeah, I'll do some. less. You, you can well, go less balls. Yeah, you, probably, you but... could just do a lot of like, oh, there's a good some good tutorials on YouTube that you can follow for good, quick, easy droid schemes. I mm. think it's a lot of like um, skeleton horde and dry brush, dry brush but they look, they look yeah. really good. So I'll probably do that for them and then go. Go mad on Ventress, but yeah, that's it really. Hobby wise, that's kind of it, I think. But Elden Ring, Elden Ring DLC has come out, and yeah, we've uh, heated discussions about that because <laughs> I we love from soft games, always have. Yeah, you know, all we've played them all. Yeah, well, you haven't. There's one you haven't. You haven't played Sekiro. Sekiro, Sekiro, no. Sekiro, Sekiro yeah. however you say Sekiro, it. Sekiro, I think. But yeah, yeah, I've played all of them. Um, I think no, I haven't played Demon Souls. There you mm. go. So. Not because I haven't got a PS5, so I can't. You know, that's no, my excuse. Yeah. But, you know, hang on. I PS3. One. Yeah, <laughs> PS3, yeah. <laughs> It'd probably be more expensive yeah, than PS5. Yeah, that's what your brain yeah. was doing there. Yeah, that's what I did. You've got it, you've got it, haven't you? Yeah. Hang on. The stars what? have aligned. Yeah. I know I'm doing when I get home. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Darren's already got it. I haven't played it yet, obviously, with the house move, but you've got it waiting to go. Oh, yeah. I, I just I can't face it. I don't. I just. I've heard online it's brutally. Hard. It's really good, but it's brutally yeah, hard. I've heard that. Yeah, overtuned. Yes, but then you can't expect it to be. And Miyazaki has even said, "I purposely made this one. Yeah, brutal. 
come at me. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Which is fine, but I don't know if I bother, if I can be bothered to come mm. at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, my, my mate James, um, yeah, kind of sending me clips from it, and I'm like, oh god, I can't wait to get on it. You know, he's like, oh, it's mm. absolutely brilliant. I think it's kind of that thing of you've a bit like we were saying last time with like miniature painting, and now I said. Like, if I haven't been painting for a while, I'll pick up the brush and be like, God, I really love painting. I mm. need to remember how much I love this. I think mm. it's a bit like that with FromSoft. Yeah. I think you pick it up, you get into it, and you're like, yeah, what am I doing? Mm. This is brilliant. Yeah. But thing is, for me as well, again, <laughs> welcome to the uh, video game podcast. But <laughs> I, I've i got an Xbox, you've got a PS5. Everyone else I know has got a PS5. So mm. if I play it, I'm playing it on my own. Yeah. Unless I get randoms in, which I don't really like to do. So it's kind of, it loses that kind of, I think if you were playing it, I yeah. like a jump in your oh. game and, oh, let's do that boss together. That would be like, yeah. okay, let's and do it. And I think the thing, a bit of background on why we particularly love FromSoft is we've played a lot of the games together. Yes. Yeah. So we played Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, yeah. all together. Bloodborne. Bloodborne, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of on the back of a massive history of mm. playing it. Even to the point that when I say play it together, most people will think, oh, yeah, oh, yeah you must have played it <laughs> online. No, 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 no. I used to take my my PlayStation, or Dickie would take yeah. his PlayStation, come round mine, yep. two TVs set up next to each other. Yeah, we're weird. Snacks, so. yeah, we are weird. Yeah. <laughs> Don't read too much into it. My get family, snacks, get drinks. My family question my sexuality on <laughs> most days. So, you know, it is what it is. Come at me. Yeah, for, oh, yeah hang on, what? <laughs> at, did you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, anyway, moving on. Um I forgot we asked throw me off. But, but yeah. yeah, so I I kind of on the fence as to whether I want to get it. It kind of eats into hobby time. Especially mm. like I said, because I feel like I'm on a timer. Yeah, I think at the that's moment. Definitely I'm like, relevant, yeah. Oh, three yeah. weeks and I want to get Luminara down or three weeks and I'm gonna be doing I know they should you should do whatever you want to and yeah, you know, but, you know, but yeah. I know that if the some if the whole summer holidays roll around and she's still sitting there half painted, I'm gonna be annoyed. Mm. But to be fair, the only thing I would say is it kind of depends whether you get a PS5, but if if you've painted Luminara, some holidays come around, you you won't get time to paint, but you might get a little bit of time yeah. on Elden Ring. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I say yeah, but then he, a little boy will be like, oh, can I, can I go on Fortnite? Oh. <laughs> can I have a go? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, he did. <laughs> he wanted to play Elden Ring when I played yeah. the base game. Oh, Dad, can I have a go? Yeah, he'd run around. He'd kill a few. No, <laughs> he'd run around. Better, but... yeah. yeah, probably. Let's be honest. That's another thing as well. I I will hold my hands up completely. I'm a I'm a bitch when it comes to FromSoft games. Mm. Summons, any help I can get. <laughs> yeah. Mimic tier, yeah, that'll help me on Elden Ring. You know, I... and bosses. Oh yeah, oh hundred yeah. percent. I don't. I I will fully admit that I'm not one of these <laughs> hardcore. Play the whole game, yeah. do every boss on my own, spend seven hours on one boss. I'll be like, no. I mean, you're not doing a no hit run. Yeah, well, give it time. You'll be there'll be one of those <laughs> yeah. on the DLC soon. I'm sure. Probably already is. Probably if you YouTube it. Yeah, God, they're brutal. But yeah, so yeah. that's kind of yeah. We've... So yeah, we've got um another another thing. Um, oh, Steam Forge mm. Games sent us the uh, Monster Hunter World board game, um, Wild Spire Waste. Um, yeah, models look really cool. Mm. I just kind of showed it off on Instagram, and everybody seemed to love it. Um, We're uh planning on having a game aren't we because it looks quite cool i'm not sure yeah. how it works it's like an arena that game it looked yeah. i haven't i know there's like a mission pack we look for where you can like hunt the monsters obviously clues in the name yeah. but i will confess i'm not massively up on monster hunter lore my brother is johnny loves it he was we were getting the monster oh, there, kind of, there's, yeah. there's so he was kind of talking me through the monsters i know of monster hunter i have played parts of it but i'm not a massive you know, oh, no. Monster Hunter. I think it'll be good coming at it from like a miniature painting point of view yes. rather than a Monster Hunter yeah. super fan point of view. Yeah, so yeah. it's a case of like, this is a really cool game. Love these miniatures. You know, really like reviewing what the miniatures are like. I use the term miniature loosely. Yeah. Di Diablos, Diablo. <laughs> yeah. He's huge. I, I, when you showed it on the on the reel, I was like, oh, that looks big. But then when you physically, when I look at this, it's like, oh my God, it's yeah, massive. Big, yeah. yeah. Oh, really so, cool. Looking forward to doing one of those. You might. Do some, get the airbrush out. Yeah, and um, do some color. Get some reference pictures up for him. Although he's all over the artwork of the box anyway. So, could, but yeah, get some pictures up and yeah, do a bit of blaster yeah. with the airbrush. Yeah, think anything else you want to? Don't think so. I think yeah, kind of. I suppose just a bit of a disclaimer, I guess, in that 
maybe the next sort of week ish there might be a bit less sort of contrast corner that kind yeah. of thing just while i'm yeah kind of getting uh, this set up but but moving yeah. into your house you selfish brute. yeah but hopefully there'll be more content you'll have a you'll have an influx influx yeah oh, with, the, with the sprudio set up oh yeah we've been around discussing the sprudio tonight show me your whole house oh this is that yeah don't care where's your sprudio yeah. here it is right we're in there for about 20 minutes discussing yeah. one wall what's There's going one room on? i'm interested yeah in. that's all i care about yeah, <laughs> well, you <laughs> just put a bed on the on the in the kitchen. That'll do you. Oh, yeah. you, know, you don't need yeah. a mattress. Free. Yeah, you don't need a telly. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, so crack on to the topic crack then. On. Get to the meat of the episode. Yeah, get this done because it's too hot in here. <laughs> right. Here so go. main topic today. Yeah. Well, this is a got to think of a nice clickbaity mm. uh, oh. title for this yeah. one on the uh, on the YouTube's and all that. Because uh, yeah, I think. Yes, I got. You're doing it wrong. Yeah, you're doing it wrong. Do and I will put a disclaimer before you even say what it's about. Do as we say, not as we do. <laughs> because I do feel like some of these, and I'll admit, some of them I might sometimes, you know, fall into the trap. Yeah, of, I think oh, so. You know, I think that's kind of why as well. Yeah. While we're saying it, in terms of like, I've definitely done that before mm. and learnt from it, mm. or, but, or um, not learnt from it, as the case may be. Yeah, <laughs> but but yeah, kind of loosely titled. Stop making these miniature painting mistakes. Yeah. So. Yeah, we sort of thought we'd share a bit of wisdom. It's not necessarily tips, it's more... Things we've noticed, I things suppose. Things we've noticed and things that you might be doing, but you don't even know... Yeah, you don't even know you're doing, or you should be doing, mm. that will improve your painting. Yeah, and again, if we're talking out of our arse, just ignore oh, us. Oh, that's but, good, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that's probably... Be more surprised. Oh, that's a good so, idea. Yeah, yeah. That's in the title. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Ar- arse talking podcast. Yeah, fight. Hang on, Bobby Thompson <laughs> slash arse talking. No, wait, what? Come at me. Um. Yeah. So, <laughs> guys, I think it's the heat tonight. It's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's just <laughs> don't paint in the heat. Yeah. Yes. That's that is that is a good one. To be fair, that's one that you said to me. The I other said day. that yesterday. Was it? Because obviously, the, obviously, we don't live in the middle of the desert. This isn't even one that we thought <laughs> of, but this is a good point. We don't live in like super super hot countries, yeah. but it is quite one extreme to the it's other. Pretty, yeah, it's quite humid. And I've noticed a lot in the past, and like now, as the weather starts getting warmer, you notice your paint. If you use a wet palette, your pa- wet palette will dry out quicker. Your yeah. paints will dry out quicker on the wet palette if you don't thin them enough. Or sometimes you do; they just dry yeah. out a bit quick. So you dry it on the brush, and that yeah. sounds silly. But yeah, if you're not putting much on the brush, yeah. So that's something you have to be aware of. Obviously, I wouldn't say that's a mistake as such, but it's not really. <laughs> It's more of the... You, massive mistake, you haven't got air con. Yeah, massive mistake, you're painting. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> anyway, guys. <laughs> You've decided to paint. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, God. Sort sake. your life out. Yeah. Probably the amount of times I mean... I've been told that. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably not, not a bad No, I was going to say, that's probably the best thing you can take away from this podcast. <laughs> sort your life out. Self-reflection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We're all over the place this podcast tonight. <laughs> um... So yeah, don't. Well, to be fair, like you say, don't paint in the heat. Well, that you can paint in the heat. I think more just yeah, just set keep, up for it. Keep an eye on it. You know, make sure you paint still. It's gonna be harder. Yeah, I, th- I think so. Especially obviously hotter countries, and we don't. Most people in the UK don't benefit from aircon anyway. So yeah. I paint upstairs now, and it gets quite hot and humid upstairs yeah. when you're painting up there. So, I suppose I could segue into my genuinely first. Yeah, point. go on. Then you're genuinely first point. Go on. <laughs> Which was um, yeah, applying paint too thick. Mm. So the the reason for the segue is if you're thinning your paints, that's going to help if it's hot because yeah. they're going to take longer to dry. Mm. But generally, even when it's not stupidly hot, um, yeah, applying paints too thick is yeah is a problem that I see quite a lot, and I think it's it's a relatively simple one to not do. Yes, you know it's it's kind of it's one thing that you can just improve straight away even if it's just that you're wetting your brush if you're going straight into the pot mm. if you get a brush full of water and not then, too much water not though, no because yeah, you'll end up the yeah. yeah. paint in the pot but um <laughs> but, but yeah um i, I mean you ideally think. you'd be using a wet palette yes yeah come on um, or even a dry even a um you know normal paint palette yeah or uh, make your own wet palette if you don't want to buy one yeah um but yeah putting paint on too thick i think it's um you lose detail. Um, it just it just starts to sort of clump up. It mm. dries weird. Mm. You, you're kind of 
just making the job way more difficult than you need to. Yeah. You'll be thinking that, oh, I've got to put it on thick so that it covers properly. But, yeah, it really it, you really don't gain in the long run. No. No, definitely, you, yes. you'll, be, you'll be covering a lot of detail. Yeah. Um, and it will just make the whole process harder. Mm. Um, yeah, can't really add anything to yeah. that. That's and a, I don't think point. it's really great for your brushes either. Well, we, oh, Mr. Segway today, which leads into the next one we thought of, mm. looking after your brushes. Yeah. People have obviously, you know, you want to make sure you can buy some brush cleaner, I think. That's what I would... I, I, it depends, I suppose, on what brushes you're using. Mm. You and know. what level you're painting at as yeah, well, I think. definitely. Obviously, I think this podcast kind of bleeds into our little bit of a hobby, you know, beginners one we did, when we yeah. talk about hobby things for beginners, about not buying expensive brushes from the yeah. get-go. But... Yeah, I do think definitely if you're going to, if you are an experienced painter and you're, you know, you still would want to look at us, I suppose most experienced painters would buy paint cleaner of some description, yeah. but brush soap, brush soap, yeah, yeah. bought some new one the other day, actually. Um, but yeah, I think that is something you don't want to, you know, the mistake you want to make of making, you want to make sure you clean your brushes because obviously you spend a lot of money on the, you know, on the brushes and they're yeah. not cheap. And then the last thing you want to do is, you know, get paint into the ferrule and then once it gets in there and you kind of add it really yeah I, mean, I think there are some cleans that can even get it out of there but i i don't think they're ever really the same once no, it gets and i think into the... it's more kind of i'd say it's it's partly yeah like partly the cost say you've spent like 10 pounds on a brush it's really annoying if you then ruin that brush mm. but i'd say it's as frustrating to just generally have a brush that doesn't come to a point oh god gotcha. you know it's it's not it's not, not like little curve on the end. yeah exactly oh. the frustration isn't like oh i've just wasted 10 pounds it's like i haven't got a decent brush to paint mm. with that's why it's frustrating i'm yeah. like i should have looked after this because mm. i've gone to do some detail work and it's not holding its point well mm. that's like the whole point of but then <laughs> obviously saying that as well though it depends on what brushes you do buy because some brushes like some cheaper synthetic brushes don't hold a point very well anyway yeah. no and matter it, how yeah. we look after yeah. them they naturally kind of lose the point in yeah. their shape after a few uses mm. you know you can get some high-end synthetics which is quite good we got yeah. some you got me one from rose and co and the synthetics go it's pretty good brush yeah yeah I, the red red dot series red dot that's it i yeah. think they thought it was called red dot that was a really good brush for synthetic mm. obviously it's not as good as a sable but it's still yeah one thing i would say is though if you are getting sable brushes you definitely need to look after them oh god yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a mistake you don't want to make because you'll be regretting it when they're mm not not working for you you know getting paint in the ferrule and losing their shape that is infuriating when you get one it's like, oh. just because they're so nice to work with when they are working yes yeah. so it's just yeah you're just again it's a bit like thinning your paints you're mm. making it so much easier for yourself yeah and again that's again i say about say as we do say as we do as we say not as we do because i've i've done that before mm. you know I'm in a rush, I want to get a paint on there. I'll grab oh, yeah. the first brush I see. Yeah. Oh, you know, and then I've, yeah, I've, I've done it. I've even done it before. <laughs> Embarrassing, giving it all the, don't make these hobby mistakes. <laughs> but I've done it before. I can't remember what, how, why, but I washed a paint, one of my sable brushes off in a pot, you know, my water. Got up, gone downstairs to do something, or I can't remember what it was a long, little while ago. Come back up and forgot that I left the brush in the water. And obviously uh, it sat in the water uh, and it's completely, you know, lost its shape. Bananaed. Ban bananaed. Yeah, technical term. <laughs> it's completely bananaed. I've got it out and I've cleaned it and cleaned it and, cle you know, I got it through the brush soap, tried to get its shape back. Never really mm. kind of got its shape. So it got demoted to like a basic. Good for painting round corners though. Hey! <laughs> Even in this heat, you can still make up <laughs> terrible jokes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's sort of encouraging. Yeah, fine. <laughs> it's just falling apart. Um. So yeah, that's kind of what we say a mistake could be made with brushes. The one, I don't know if the next one is a mistake, but it's something I definitely feel, would you class it as a mistake? The basing. Mm, I, yeah, I would say... Uh, Obviously, you can't say that's a mistake you no, haven't based that. But. No, um, I wouldn't say, yeah, I wouldn't say it's a, necessarily a mistake, but I would say it's a massive missed opportunity. That's which, a good way of putting it. Which is... You've spent ages doing your, and I know we've talked about this before. Yeah, we, you, know, you we, me, and Chloe had a bit yeah, of a. Yeah, we're passionate about this. We are passionate about this. You've spent ages painting a really nice model, and to to not base it, 
yeah, it's just a massive missed opportunity. It just it just finishes the model off, and yeah. it's a really fun bit to do. Mm. So, if it's like, oh, I've just got into miniature painting, and you've not probably some people not even considered basing their models. Oh, what's basing? Yeah, what do you mean? Like, yeah, yeah, you, you you know, look it up, go, yeah. do a few kind of tutorials and things like that, and it's not a difficult thing to do. You know, there's tufts and. Mm. So I used to be, I think I've said it before, but I used to be a carpet fitter mm. for years and people would say to me, like, oh, I love seeing the carpet go down in the room after we decorated it because it kind of finishes the room. Yeah. You know, I've done all the walls, we've done all these new furnishings and we put the carpet down, it just finishes the room off. And it's almost, I kind of see it like that now. Yeah. You spend hours on a model, it looks really good. And then you see people online, and they, you know, no one in particular, but they've, rush the base they haven't really put as much effort in the base or they haven't painted the rim nicely around the edge black yeah. always black team black team black base room team black base room uh and they've done you know and you just think oh if you just spent half an hour an hour more on that and given mm. it a nice base made it tidy it just it doesn't have got to be yeah. over the top just neat and tidy it'll just finish the model off yeah. so much better i said, think yeah we've said before as well that even if you're even if you haven't done a very good job if the base is good, oh god, yeah, kind of, yeah, you get away. It covers so many sins. I've seen, ba I've seen armies models before where the paint jobs, you know, good. I'm not saying oh it's a shit paint job. I say it's a, it's a good paint job, but they've done a really good base, and it, your eyes drop. Wow, yeah. So when you pick it up and it will, yeah, or look at it up close. Yeah. You're like, uh, especially when you get the army as a whole. Yes. Oh yeah. Definitely. If you've got like a snow theme or something, you know, they'll look incredible. Yeah. And then it kind of doesn't really matter when you pick it up, does it? Because <laughs> yeah. You know, it's three foot fabulous. Three foot fabulous, yeah, definitely. So, but the next one I would say is definitely a mistake, and I <laughs> I have done this. Yeah, I still kind of do it now. Mm. Is don't watch too much YouTube. Mm. That is a mistake you can fall into. Oh, how do I do this? How do I glaze? How do I wet blend? How do I? I can't yeah. think of anything really. You know, how do I do these? It, uh, any technique, not even the not even the high end techniques. Yeah. How do I contrast them all? Yeah. Rather than spending, oh, I spent a week researching it on YouTube. I found these four videos. Yeah. Just get the paints. Yeah. So maybe watch one or two to get the rough idea of how it works. Yeah, I think I think one or two. So like, yeah, w watch one on glazing, watch one on on wet blending. You know, watch one on feathering. Whatever you, I, I think that's useful. But the trap that I've fallen into, into before is, oh, I've sat there all night, say two three hours, watching everyone's glazing video yeah you know i've watched like 15 videos on glazing it's like just pick the brush up and start glazing yeah just have a go get yeah. what like i said i don't think there's anything wrong with watching one or two to get them get the kind of fundamentals down of how it works how it should be done right okay let's have a go yeah oh i mucked it up that's fine just spray oh, it i might watch it. another one yeah oh, okay yeah he was doing that differently yeah. right let's have another go yeah don't i think there's nothing i think if you watch any other listen watch any other podcast they'll say the same thing nothing beats experience of yeah. doing it yeah and it's this kind of thing of learn glazing in half an hour learn glazing in 20 minutes yeah glazing in five minutes you know it's yeah <laughs> glazing in two seconds yeah clickbaity <laughs> titles not like this one's going to be clickbaity or anything <laughs> yeah. um yeah definitely i do think that is a mistake that people fall into and again i not so much nowadays again like i said i might watch one or two to you know when i first thought about doing like glazing i thought yeah. oh, i'll have a look see how the what what the kind yeah. of idea is oh, okay and now i'll just just do my own you know do it myself and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you know that's mm. kind of that's the brilliant thing about the hobby though if you muck it up you just start it out start it out strip it start yeah. again you know do however you want to do it but Turn yeah it oh yeah that's definitely a valid <laughs> option oh that's probably my top option actually <laughs> snap the brush in half. snap the brush oh that's a yeah but i don't see the problem with that you, <laughs> You always laugh at me for that's like that's like a ceremony you have. The brush is dead. It no no longer has a use to me. Yeah. Goodbye, old friend. Snap. <laughs> bin. Goodbye, old friend. Yeah. It's been emotional. Yeah, it's been <laughs> some of that time we went to um a show, wasn't it? And he was the guy was on and on about how great his brushes were. Oh, this brush is great. <laughs> oh, yeah. This brush is oh this I, it's all I use. They're absolutely brilliant. Absolute workhorse for me. Oh, workhorse this brush. Got it home. I think he said it was a Kalinsky table. <laughs> Got it home. The thing is, you should have known when it cost like three pounds. Should have, <laughs> yeah. should have probably known. Three then. pound Kalinsky saver. Yeah. Oh, what like, oh cool. What could be wrong with this? God, this guy's mo he's massive, mate. Yeah, yeah. God, <laughs> he's selling these at a loss. 
walk away with this. He's probably thinking, you dickhead. But anyway, I got it home. I think I used it for about 10 minutes. It kind of like umbrellaed on me. I was like, oh, for God's sake. Snap. You don't get her. You're just gone. <laughs> you don't get a ceremony. You don't, yeah, you don't get a It's been emotional, word. but yeah. not the right emotion. Not the right reasons. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> um, YouTube, yeah. So I've completely lost what we were saying. But yeah, yeah don't watch too much YouTube. Don't watch too much. Don't kind of, yeah, don't, yeah. This kind of goes into, into one of my points, really. But don't overthink things when you start painting. Um, Which, not necessarily like a... I feel like you're talking to me now. No, 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 I mean, no! I do feel like you are because yeah. I. This is a mistake. Yeah, yeah. This is off the list you've done, or we've done on here. Yeah, this is definitely one that I fall yeah. into. I overthink every project, and mm. so I can kind of see the mistake. I know it's a mistake, but yeah. I do fall into this mistake of. I get my an idea in my head for a project. Oh, I want to do this. It's gonna. Yeah. Be, I'm gonna glaze that. I'm gonna wet blend this bit. I'm gonna do these really cool bases. Oh my god, it's gonna look. I'm gonna do an OSL here. Gonna get the airbrush out. And then when I start the project, if it doesn't go to exactly as I thought in my head, mm. oh, this is rubbish. What's the point? I'm yeah. not doing this. I'm going to bin it. I'm going to put it in the cupboard. I'm not doing that anymore. Oh, how's, your, how's that model getting on, Dickie? No, no, I don't want to do it. Oh, that's mm -hmm. rubbish. Yeah. So I definitely, this is a, it is a mistake, but mm. I do overthink yeah. projects. So I think... Well, you, my, my thing was, yeah, for beginners. Yeah, yeah. So I was say overthinking a project as a beginner. I think you should just put overthinking a project. Yeah. Because that is definitely... Yeah. That is, I, I think it's kind of... Yeah, well, I suppose it kind of goes hand in hand with the YouTube thing. It's, oh, before I even put a brush on this model, I want to watch all these videos on this. I yeah. watch all these videos on, I'm going to watch 10 videos on how to paint Lumineth before I even mm. pick the brush up. And it's mm. like, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that's a good way to go. I think maybe a couple, maybe yeah. a simple one. Um, do it, do it simply. Then maybe one on kind of putting some highlights on and that kind of thing. But I don't think you need to be looking at like, certainly not a beginner level, looking like into colour theory and all that kind of oh, thing. Oh, God, no. When, when you're just starting out. Because you want to get, the things that you want to get down are sort of brush control, consistency of the paint on your brush. And you can't really learn that from a YouTube video. No. You can't, certainly you can't learn brush control. No. And that's something that just comes with practice. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, no, the project by no thinking a project. I think I I am guilty of that mistake, but I agree with the reasons not to. Because mm. I think I've said to you before a few times, my best paint jobs, or not my best, but my most enjoyable paint jobs, or ones that have kept me interested and kept me going, a bit like Shatterpoint actually, <laughs> good old Shatterpoint, but is I don't overthink it. Mm. I just sit down, just start painting. Yeah. Right, I'm going to paint Obi Wan. Right, let's do it. Right, I'm going to paint Anakin. Right now, I'm going to do my. You know, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I think. Right, how am I going to do that? I'll just start painting the model. I think obviously that's maybe a bit too far the other way. You should probably have an yeah. idea of what you yeah. want to go with, but I think I'm a bit too far that way. Yes. Which is, I will. But I think I said to you the other day mm. when I uh, started painting that um, one of the Mandalorians from Ahsoka Squad, I hadn't really thought about it enough. Yes. So I'd kind of, I, I knew I'd wanted to do sort of like a purple to blue to teal, mm. but I didn't think like, right, I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do this, then mm. I'm going to do this. So um, I sort of ended up spending probably twice as long. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, I was almost like trying to learn on the job, but I, it's one of those things where I sort <laughs> of, I think I knew what I needed to do, <laughs> but for some reason I was yeah. just... You're halfway through and you're like, what co what colours is he again? Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. <laughs> what am I painting again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've done him the wrong colour. Yeah, oh, he's not meant to be pink. Oh, I no, have wait. done that before. He's pink. Well, have you really? No, no not, 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 you not know, pink. he's meant to be pink. No, but, but I mean, you've gone... I've from... done... Yeah, I've I've painted... You, you kind of get in the zone, don't you? You go, mm. oh, I'm going to do that green. Oh, yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm going to do that, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to kind of, oh, I've shaded that and I've dark green and a bit of like yellow on the edges. And then you go and look at your like reference thing and you're like... That's not even. That's not even. That's leather. I'm like, <laughs> what? It's so annoying as well because you're like. So we're complete ends of the spectrum, yeah, and I'm like, yeah. I I have the tendency yeah. to get too into it and overthink it too mm. much, and you just pick up a brush and don't even look at them. Mm. Yeah, that'll do red. Oh, hang on, that's meant to be orange. orange. <laughs> that's meant to be green. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, fine, that'll do. Moving on. No, I think I kind of yeah I. 
I don't know. I don't think I do that with every project. Um, and I do like to kind of have that. If you're doing box art, you know, you have that reference there. Oh, is, yeah. Is, is nice to have there. Also, if you're doing an IP, for instance, yes. like Shatterpoint again, yeah. go back to All Legion, which we do a lot. Yeah. Obviously, you're painting Luke Skywalker. Yeah. He has a green lightsaber as yeah. a Jedi. So you can't really give him a purple lightsaber. Do you know? Well, <laughs> yeah. you could if you don't think about it. <laughs> what if? But yeah, hang on. But you, you would know that Luke... Yeah. Jedi Luke has a black out, you, you know, has like yeah, a black yeah. black outfit, a green lightsaber. Yeah. Darth Vader is black with a red. You know, you because yeah. it's an IP. You know, you don't really need to know. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's been on kind Unless of you the do more, a what if. Yeah, it's been on more like the kind of smaller games where maybe like the miniatures aren't as detailed, and it's not actually that easy to see what's what. If that makes yeah. sense. So mm. you're like. Oh yeah, I'll do all. The, I've done all the leather, mm. you know. And then you kind of look at reference picture, and I'm like, "Oh, that's not leather. That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's something that's else." Cloth. Yeah, so so yeah, it's more kind of like things like that. Not necessarily like you've done the whole process. Yeah, but I know you might you mean, have based yeah. it. Yeah, I'm just being an arsehole. Yeah. Oh no, I'm... that's fine. You know. Uh, another well, the next one is probably worrying. I say again, necessarily a mistake, maybe not, but I suppose it could be falling into a mm. mistake. You get a bit again, but overthinking it. Worrying about having the best equipment when yeah. you start the hobby. Yeah. This is aimed more at beginners, I suppose. But, yeah, I think so. Or even not really beginners because, you know, some people like me, I, I would like a better lamp. Yeah. But the lamp I've got is great. It's yeah. daylight. It gives me enough light. I can paint models. You know, I can paint my models under it. But some tart here has bought the Onyx, <laughs> bought the Onyx uh, lamp from um, C Studios. And it's, I've been told I'm going to have to have a look at it after the podcast. Mm. So. Well, I actually said that if you hadn't bought it by this podcast, that was it. Oh, fine. So oh, what, this is it? the last episode. Oh, okay. That's fair. Well, it's been nice anyway. <laughs> Sprue Goons will be shutting down. Um, yeah. So I do think that's something that people do fall in. I oh, think oh, it's God, the chase. Have, yes. Yeah. You know, and we're, all, we're all A, we're nerds and B, I think humans as a race are collectors, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. So it's nice to have the best things. Definitely, and... yeah. And I think it's part of the hobby, sort of chase, yeah. chasing the, what do you call it? The plastic dragon. The plastic dragon, yeah. Um, I mean, that's more model related. Yeah, but, but... but yeah, um, yeah, I think... That would be a good t-shirt design. Chase the plastic dragon. Yeah, Can... chasing the plastic dragon like a dragon and like a little plastic soldier running away. Something. There you go. That's quite cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, best um, equipment. Yeah, I think... I think yeah, it's more just like don't obsess over having don't don't relate the equipment to your painting journey and your skill level. Yeah, well. your skill level. Yeah. Don't be like I'm I'm not that good because I haven't yeah. got the lamp. I'm not that good because I need these paints. Definitely. Um, you know, you you, you see people that produce... well, Sam. I think it's Sam Lenz. He uses synthetic. Yeah. You know, crappy brushes, and he wins golden demons. Yeah. So it's not always about your equipment no. it's about your skill which makes me feel awful <laughs> yeah. saying that out loud yeah it's hard when you've got the best equipment uh, and still shit. yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, right just because you've got your onyx lamp now yeah but i'm still shit it's even yeah. worse <laughs> yeah best i'll put it in my car no, i'll so... take that i'll take that over <laughs> yeah no i think it's yeah it's just basically yeah it doesn't really it helps we've talked about it before it mm. definitely helps um, I think it is a, it I is think a mistake. We, we, we I did a sprawl false with with Chloe, you know, which was better equipment makes you a better painter. Sprawl false, mm. you know, and that that was a that's a hard one because mm. in a way it kind of does, but I think it's the your tools obsessing aren't, on yeah. your your tools aren't fighting you no. as much. I suppose if you buy some, it's nice kind of brushes, that age but... old. Don't blame your tools. Yeah, um, unless you've got really. Well, yeah, yeah, unless you've got, yeah, unless you're going to like Poundland for your brushes. And... Hang on, that's a good video. I know. Poundland, Poundland paintbrushes. Can I paint this two thousand pound Titan? Golden Demon ain't true. Poundland paintbrushes. <laughs> come on, Sam Lens, come at me. Yeah, fine. Hang on. <laughs> it's got a finalist pin. What? <laughs> <laughs> hang on, but that doesn't look like it was issued by Games Workshop. Yeah, well, 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 well. Why is it made of cardboard? It's fine. <laughs> Um, um, I suppose the any more you got, I've got one more one I think I can think of. No, I think yeah, I think I'll kind of my my main again. This is more sort of yeah. I guess big mistakes. There's loads of kind of little you know mistakes. A lot of people you say about overthinking it. You know we we do overthink it, but 
we don't always like journal our projects. A lot of people say, I know, like paint perspective, mm. you know, get a journal, plan your project out. Mm. You know, that's the complete. But then, yeah, but I suppose that's probably they wouldn't recommend that necessarily for a beginner. No, talking. and also it depends what you're painting because I've got a, my Drakari scheme mm. is all in down in the journal, yes. color color swatches in there, how to blend the colors, everything. If, I haven't painted any Jakari for a month or so now because mm. I've been over a month because I've been doing Shatterpoint. But I know tomorrow if I went back to them, yeah, I've got the You've scheme got there. Down, yeah. Whereas with Shatterpoint, I don't need a swatch scheme because I'm not going to paint Obi Wan Kenobi again. Yeah. I'm not going to paint Anakin True. again. Yeah, you know I don't need to remember. Oh, how did I do Anakin? Well, it doesn't matter because you only paint one. Yeah, it's a skirmish. And game. next time you might do them slightly different. Yeah, so, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It doesn't really matter as much. It depends on what game. But if you're playing like you know GW, Age of Sigma. 40k yeah you don't hoard on me yeah you then want you, you want scheme. yeah but that kind of leads on neatly to what i was going to say chasing the plastic dragon and all that and mm. i think this is something that nearly every hobbyist is, does make a mistake in yeah on every project you start start small mm. i think which i get it sounds easiest it sounds easy to say yeah, mm. well, obviously but it is a mistake that i think a lot of people fall into especially like if you do DW games, because they want you to buy, yeah, they want you to buy it all. They want you to drop five hundred pounds on an army. Now they want you. They want. They want all the monies, don't they? So they're. But if you're starting a, a game, obviously it depends on what game. But like when we started Shatterpoint, we got the core set, and then, you know, I did, and I did Anakin from it and the yeah. scenery. We've got a couple more of that we haven't, but we didn't go mad. We didn't buy everything. We didn't buy every squad we wanted. I painted one squad, then I bought another squad, then I painted that squad, then I bought another squad. Yeah. You know, when we did like, um, oh, we did Arkworld. I mm. bought one more. I bought, uh, what did I buy? I think of halflings. Think first, yeah. yeah. I bought like four halflings, five halflings. That was it. And then I painted them up and then I bought some more. Mm. You know, do it that way. I think the problem is people have a tendency to make the mistake where they go out and they drop, oh, I've just bought, started a new Tyranid army. And I bought two combat patrols, yeah. a winged hive tyrant, the codex, all the colours I need. Oh, and I actually thought while I was there, I'd buy the dice. Oh, and I bought another box yeah. of, of Termagorns. Just, you know, you've got this massive pile of models sitting I there. Think, and you're like, oh. Yeah, I think if you're an experienced painter and you know your you know your limits, yeah. you know, if you're like Pixie, for example, yeah. he'd go and buy an army, he wouldn't bat an eyelid because mm. he knows that he would smash it out mm. because he's... An, ar an army painter yeah. he's got a lot of army painting experience but I think in general, in general most people make yeah. the mistake of going in getting too much getting excited getting you know the plastic crack chasing the plastic dragon mm. getting excited about it all got to do it got to buy it I want it all I want it now and I get it as well because that feeling of yeah. that rush of oh I've got mm. a new box you know a box of models coming you know in the in the car I'm going to go take a moment I'm going to start my new army and then a bit like you know four models in you're like oh, mm. what have I done so yeah, I think that's something you should definitely do. I think people make the mistake yeah. of getting too much too quickly. I think I think it's that motivation thing, which is you know if you're if you're doing it a box at a time, it really did it helps with the motivation. Mm. Whereas like you say, when you've got oh oh yeah, I've just dropped you know two hundred quid, I've got you know fifty models to paint. Um, yeah, it's, I mean especially if you're a beginner, mm. that's just it's just daunting mm. because you're not you're you're still learning so. Like I say, if you're an experienced painter, yeah, you've got 50 minutes just to paint. You're like, right, okay, done a test model. It took me three hours to the standard I want to do. Okay, yeah, that's still a lot of time. 150 mm. hours, Jesus. But, <laughs> Don't um, think about it. Yeah. Um, but you know, if you're learning, that first test model might take you 10 hours because you don't really know what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. Well, then you've got 500 hours ahead. Obviously, everyone not going to take mm. years be as um slow but but yeah learning on like a combat patrol or something mm. um might just be yeah it might be daunting for some yeah. people might not but well, the thing is again like we said about we we're not perfect we made these mm. mistakes when we when you were setting up it kind of it it it, sh it shows that you pick up something to put in the background and yeah. you have got so much stuff that you don't even remember yeah. having this that you pick this and out it's the not even that old no you pick this out the cupboard like oh i forgot oh, yeah. i had this <laughs> So, you know, we all bought it about a month ago. Yeah, we all do it. We buy things, you know, yeah. make the mistake of buying it. Yeah, I'll paint that and then it goes in the cupboard. And well, it... there's two things there that yeah. are in the cupboard. <laughs> I, I thought I'd just embarrass you with one. I didn't want to bring the other one up. Yeah, I think it's, um, yeah, I suppose also it depends 
what your what your mentality is as well like if you're i'm i'm the sort of person where i can buy that and put it in the cabinet and that's not cabinet the cupboard, cupboard. yeah <laughs> so display it actually to be fair it'd probably be a good idea too just to, that's like rare now you said no it was there yeah fine at least you get your money's worth out of it you see it every day <laughs> but what i mean is i i can i sort of think oh i want i want that set i might paint some models from it at some point we might play it but it's not bothering me it's not yeah. bothering me that it's unpainted whereas yeah. i think this is a case of if you're buying a load of models and it's going to bother you that you've oh i've got all that to paint mm. then don't buy loads of models yeah. you know just buy one box and yeah. you know go at your own speed yeah whereas yeah i'm the sort of speed where three and a half thousand points of lumineth <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. it's not bothering me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we are uh, again. We're opposite ends of the scale on that because yeah. I'm like the, the other guy you just described. <laughs> yeah. Like that's bothering me. It's sitting in the cupboard. Yeah. I've spent hundred pounds on whatever yeah. it is, and I haven't touched it for a month. No, that's I've yeah, got. I've got stuff in the cupboard. That's Let's bothering talk you. about it. Well, what have I got? Um, not much. Arc smart world. Yeah, a little bit of arc world. Yeah, moonstone. Yeah, but I was dragged into that by you and John. <laughs> I don't count that. Probably a bit of legion. No, uh, oh, my fist list would be good to be finished. Yeah. Jakari. Yeah, only a raider. <laughs> we can slowly go through the systems if we do. Right, shall I open that cupboard? Four cryogas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I'm talking about ones that have been half started. <laughs> yeah, at least I've started them. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I'm going to give you that. <laughs> How's your shutter point going? Yeah, good. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you smashing that out. Can't well, get know, it done quick enough. Yeah, well, you know, if you any excuse like a house, God. Yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, I think yeah, that's um, yeah. Don't don't kind of. I suppose kind of goes into like overthinking it. That mm. kind of ties it in with that, doesn't yeah. it? You know, don't. That is kind of overthinking it. You know, mm. getting all the models, all the dice, and all that. And we do fall into those traps. Oh God, yeah. Oh yeah. If the, if the dice are on the side, you said dice, yeah. If I picked up like, a, especially they just Warhammer, mm. they like give you the fancy dice, didn't they? Mm. If I pick up a spearhead and I'm like, oh, the faction dice are next to it, mm. yeah, they're coming. Oh, yeah. they're coming over. Even if well. we never play, oh yeah, yeah, it's getting, they're getting picked up. Yep. I did it for I did do it for a game. Lord of the Rings. Mm. I bought the Lord of the Rings Isengard <laughs> yeah, dice. That's that like going for you? <laughs> exactly. So. And I'm just shooting myself in the foot now, <laughs> anyway. Anyway, let's end this podcast. It's too hot in here and you're annoying me. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> right, then. Suppose we would do some listeners' questions. Keep you happy. That's not the intro. What is the intro? Listeners' questions. Oh. Questions, <laughs> questions, questions. <laughs> I thought I got away with it. <laughs> Bloody stupid. Anyway, right. <laughs> Ignore him. So we chose a couple this week. First one is from, oh my God, I've got new glasses on. I can't even see. SPN Hunter underscore. Yeah. And they've asked, is it better to spray or paint primer on miniatures? So I would generally, rule of thumb, my kind of gut reaction is to always spray. Mm. I think it gives you a nice even coverage. Yeah. Um, the only thing I would maybe say you could, paint primer on it in like depends where you are in terms of weather yeah because it's really cold outside mm. or raining or really really hot you don't really because of the humidity can yeah make it go grainy like it has on me several times yeah. make the spray come out like yeah sand onto the model yeah i think is that the heat that causes that or is it the cold that's the heat isn't it i think it might be the heat yeah cause yeah it's kind of drying as it's spraying yeah. so it goes on it's like your yeah it's like yeah i'm um, not explaining it very well but like it goes on like grainy silly string it? Silly string. <laughs> I see a doctor about that. Um, yeah, no, I would in general say always. I'd always try and spray. I'd, yeah, or, yeah. If you can, definitely spray. Even or airbrush. It, or airbrush. Yeah, I was gonna um, say airbrush. If you are applying a primer with a brush, it has to be thin. Yes, I was gonna say. Don't, don't, don't straight from the pot. Clump it kind on, of goes yeah, back to goes back to applying it too thick. But if you're putting on primer thick. Yeah, that goes back to when I ruined my whole Hobbit set by <laughs> spraying it too thick. But and leaving it on a radiator. Yeah, you forget that bit. Don't yeah, don't put it on the radiator. Basically, like encrusted. That in. should have been hobby mistakes. Ah, don't, don't put your don't put your paints. Uh, oh. <laughs> what is up with me tonight? 
Don't put your models on a radiator to dry. Yeah. yeah. All those people who are doing it. Yeah, come stop on. Stop now. We know you're out there. <laughs> <laughs> what if there is someone out that's done that? Oh, yeah. Probably. Well, yeah, I'm sitting next to one of them. So. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Fine. One of. One of, yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, yeah. So, hey. yeah, so spray. Spray, yeah. So there's lots of raw force. Uh, thanks for that. Thanks for that question. And the other one is from Silent underscore Anubis. Uh, we have answered this one. That's a cool name. Cool name. We have answered this before, and I'm hoping that my answer is the same as last time, because <laughs> I can't actually remember what it was. But what is your favourite Warhammer 40k faction? So you can go first. Mine Darren. is Imperial Guard. No, it's not. They're called. Ash on. Astra Militarum. There we go. Come on, don't the GW lawyers after us. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely love them. Yeah. Yeah. That needs. That needs not up there now. You needs got, it up there. You've got your combat patrol. They don't take top spot. They don't take top Why no. did you not get the combat patrol then? Come on. Because. Um, Grilling you right now. You said. <laughs> what well, is my fault? <laughs> no, I think, I think it was. Um, they're a horde army, but a horde army. There's a lot of detail on them. Mm. So for a horde army, it was more kind of. There was a reason, but I can't remember what it was. I think that is it. It was. That's a lot of. That's a lot of Cadians to paint. Mm. Um, I think I was in a point where, don't know. Maybe also, I'll... you're more ca you're more of a Catachan man, aren't you? I'm definitely, yeah. yeah Even I though like the models are probably yeah. older than you, but yeah, I do like um, Catachans are one of those things where, um, I don't know if you know about the um, the thing with Sony and Bloodborne. Where they just yeah. like not acknowledge yeah. the fact that people they want to definitely re remaster. rebuild it, remaster it. It's like that with the Catacans. Like Games Workshop, you know, people love Catacans. Yeah. There's such a like cult following for them. Just redo them. Do you think it's because they're, they're not? Me. They're not. As, <laughs> you're annoying me, GW. Come on. Come on. Do you think it's because they're not IPable enough in that they're like, you know, they're Rambo slash Predator kind of rip off. Model, do you know what I mean? They can't, yeah, they can't slap GW all over it. No, but Sly Marbo, I mean, they sh they should be the lawyers should be coming after them. Yeah, yeah, true. Call it calling a model Sly that looks like Sylvester Stallone yeah. and I'm, not getting in trouble is yeah. Madness. But GW always they 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 complain if anyone else does it, but when they do it, it's yeah. fine. Anyway, so slagging off GW, but my favourite is I can't remember what I said last time, but I. <laughs> I'm going to say Drakari. Yeah. I like Necrons. I, like I do all the, like the Necron. I like all the evil races, really. I quite like Orcs, just because they're just mm. fucking stupid. But probably Drakari, Necrons. Sisters? Sisters. I couldn't think of the third one. That was what I was thinking. Who's the third? There's three of them. Yeah. Adeptus Sororitas. Yeah. If you could have an army of one of them, what would it be? What, fully painted? It's done. Someone went to me. Here's a C Studios yeah. level. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and it is a C Studios level. It's an absolutely, you go in, oh my God, look at that army. Oh, it's got, it's between Sisters and Drakari. I like Necrons, but it's probably because Necrons from a hobby point, they look mm. cool, but from a hobby point of view, they're obviously, I was thinking when I was saying somewhere, that, if you know yeah, what I mean, you can yeah. look at them and get, you know, like there wouldn't be a lot of work to get. But when I was saying about, you know, you see studios have, have done you an incredible paint job, I was kind of thinking, like, I'm not even sure what that looks like as Necrons. You know, oh, it looks good, yeah. but there's the, the gap between I know what you mean. shit and amazing yeah, yeah. isn't actually that big on yeah, Necrons, yeah. whereas... Probably sisters. Si sisters, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sisters, I so in that, in that, it's probably Sisters is my favourite. Sisters and Drakari... Sisters, Drakari, Necron yeah. is probably my order. Sisters, if you've got the 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 balls to paint them. Yeah, if you've got the patience to paint them. Yeah. Which I probably haven't, to be no. honest. So yours would be the same, would it? Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Someone could give me a 2,000-point guard army. Done. 2,000-point Catachan army. Done. Fine. Painted to a very high level. Fine. So get on that. Yeah, well, I, I, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, there you go. Thanks, Anubis, for your question. So Yeah. Yeah, and thanks uh, for tuning into another episode. Yep, I think moving forward, we will be bringing back some paint grey eBay and yeah. some uh, Spiral Force. I know a few yeah. people have said, you know, they, they missed that part of this. Don't know what's wrong with you, but you missed that part <laughs> of the podcast for some reason. Yeah. So we'll be sprinkling them back in. Yep. Also, quick last minute update, but the Sprudio, 
Now yeah. Darren's got his keys and he's moving in. The Sprudio is going to be... It's on the horizon. It's on the horizon. Yeah, you can see it in the distance. Yeah. So And we're going to be getting some... Um, yeah, definitely going to get some guests lined up. When yeah. We've got, uh, yeah. When we look like we know what we're doing. That's it. So... Yeah, we'll have a proper setup. We'll have a nice, you Could know, be a few years. Oh, years, God. <laughs> um, I think I might be collecting my pension by the time we get and know what we're doing. Um, yeah, so we'll have like a proper, you know, setup, nice yeah. lights, proper mics. So it'll all be that's the plan anyway. So if it doesn't happen, don't blame me. And if it's still shit, oh yeah, then just well, stop listening. Yeah, so you shouldn't have said that because that's it. <laughs> We're talking to ourselves now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at this in ten years' time. Yeah, on that bombshell. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for listening, guys. Yeah, thanks for listening. Like and subscribe, all the normal stuff. All the usual, and uh, we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye.